The staging area for the urban search and rescue efforts have been set up here at the Crane Academy Day School parking lot. Now from here, they take a look at the maps and follow a grid system to make sure that every single inch of this area has been checked and cleared. <laughs> One week after the mudslide, search and rescue efforts in Montecito have transitioned into search and recovery. Well, these are the ground pounders, uh, the CAL FIRE inmate crews. Inmate crews working side by side with urban search and rescue teams. Uh, right now we're going through and uh, where all the debris went up on the uh, against trees and stuff and rocks, so we're digging everything out, what we call strainers. A few days ago, they were still working to save the lives of people who may have somehow survived the mud. Today, they're looking for the remains of those who didn't. The mud came roaring in before sunup January 9th. Some residents of Montecito thought they were prepared. Well, we sandbagged and uh, put waddles down and all of that, prepared for a flood. <laughs> that wasn't, uh, that wasn't uh, sufficient. Not by a long shot. If that resident looks familiar, it may be because he's actor Jeff Bridges. What he first thought was the sound of heavy rain suddenly became a flashback to Northridge. The house started to shake like an earthquake, and then I heard my wife uh, screaming and uh, coming out of the bedroom holding our dog, and uh, boom, here comes the mud and the debris. And he and his wife and dog ran to the highest point of their house and waited. Waiting uh, for uh, this sound right here, these helicopters. That was their cue, to run to the one dry spot in their front yard. Soon enough they came and a guy came down there on the line. And His wife and dog went up first, then he went. What was the experience like being hoisted up by a helicopter? Oh, it was beautiful. It reminded me of doing stunts in movies, you know. So just to confirm, you won't need any other resources. Captain Kevin Fry and Regional Task Force 8 are working the area south of Highway 101, plotting their progress on a map. It's later updated with GPS data. Their mission is to search every building and mud pile for survivors or victims. But up to and including this day, it was all about the rescues. Uh, we also had a lady and uh, three of her uh, young children and a couple of pets that we were able to evacuate. They were kind of stuck on an on an island, if you will, within within the mud. Back across the highway, another USAR team roams its grid, conducting secondary searches of homes, ensuring no one was missed. They're also documenting vehicles that were swept away by the mud and left on neighbors' properties. They found Jeff Bridges' SUV several homes away. Nearby, one of many excavators works Montecito to clear clogged creeks and terrain of boulders and debris deposited by the mudslide. Should more rain fall, this will allow it to follow its natural path to the ocean. Out of all this devastation, some are still able to find that silver lining in that dark cloud. It's really uh, caused a lot of love to bloom, man. So many people just uh, pulling together, you know, these first responders. One of my lines from one of my movies comes to mind, Starman, he says, you know what I, I love most about you, humans? Is that you are at your very best when things are worst. And that's, uh, that's certainly true. In Montecito, for Cal OES, I'm Sean Boyd.